This is Loopline. In this video, I want to go over the phone number scraper that is available in a recent version of Scrapebox version 2.0. So basically, I just typed in some keyword here, phone number list, and scraped up some results just to kind of get a rough idea so that we can have some sites to work with that have phone numbers on them. And basically, you're going to load in your list of sites that have phone numbers on them. Now, you if you don't have the list of sites, if you have, like, say, one website and it has a lot of internal pages on it and you want to get phone numbers from all of those using, like, a directory or something, using the how to grab links by grab links by crawling a site function is probably a great idea. Or you can use the link extractor add-on and keep extracting internal links. But this grab links by crawling a site will go up to four levels deep, and I have a video on that. And so you could extract all the internal pages because you need to load in the actual pages that have phone numbers on them, similar to the email grabber. And then choose the grab phone numbers by harvested URL list. So I've got those loaded in, and we're going to grab or click that option. And then it brings up this window. So obviously they get loaded in and I can start, but before we do that, we should choose some options. Do we want to save URLs with extracted data? So if I get a phone number of 555-555-5555, do I want to know that that came from 800notes.com or that it came from do not call gov or whatever? So I can choose to save that or not. And then I can show the data folder where all of these scrapes get saved. And then I can configure masks. Now this is very important because it comes preloaded with some US phone number masks. But as you know, phone numbers from around the world have all sorts of different formats. So you may or may not be able to just jump in here and use this without configuring the phone numbers that you want to scrape. So it's really easy. If we click on one of these, we can see examples. Obviously the name, pretty basic, what we're going to see here. Examples of expected data, um, it, optional, but it should be set. And then the regex to extract the data, which is required. And then the extracted data must or must not contain options. So as far as this, this is a regex statement. If you are familiar with regex, regular expression, then you know how to use this probably and you can go at it. If not, then there's a lot of helpful resources out there and it's a fairly simple thing to learn. But if you just go to and type Google with regex library, you can get a lot of things here. The very first one is excellent. We can just go in here and type in phone numbers and we're gonna see a lot of examples of submissions from people of regex statements that will scrape certain types of phone numbers and what it's going to match on and that sort of thing. So basically you can grab one of those or modify it or you can just go and do some regex tutorials online and figure out how to use regex pretty easy and then you can make your own statements. So you can scrape phone numbers from anywhere around the world. You could even use this to scrape other data because it's just a data scraper. So you can just plug in any kind of information. It doesn't have to be phone numbers. Make a regex statement to scrape whatever, an address, for instance, or maybe you want to scrape a maybe a person's name and their title with a company, maybe whatever. So you can do all those types of things as long as you match up on the particular data with a regex statement. Now bearing in mind, if you wanted to get a person's title and a name, they probably would have to have some sort of um, preface on the site so that you can match it with a regex statement. Otherwise, you're just going to be matching letters and that's obviously not going to work. It needs to follow a certain format, basically, with a regex statement in order to work. So I'm just going to go with the US phone numbers that are built right in and I'm going to hit start and let it go through here. We can see phones, the count, and this one obviously has a lot. Um, with the Senate and then some of these have a lot some of them don't we can see the status over here and then the threads just finished up we can show the folder data and then we can look at the one for dated right now and we can go through here and we can see phone numbers as we scroll down and see all the different phone numbers now if I want to go back and just show you an example of save the URLs and we won't go through all of these um, but just a few to show the difference here. It's going to save it in a format like this with the website up front and then the pipe key separator and then the phone number itself. And so then you can do whatever you want with that. So that is how you can use the phone number scraper to scrape phone numbers, but also how you can use regex to scrape other data. And then also some information with the regex library and that sort of thing 
some there are thousands of entries for regex statements across all of these things that you can just run with and if you don't know what you're doing you can go on a forum or go on there and post help say here's what I want to extract I need a regular expression statement for that and someone will probably help you so that is how you can use the phone number scraper from Scrapebox Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button on your screen or click the subscribe button down below.